Uh, so I'm honoring that and I know that this lady has some skills and some sets that we as an organization can capitalize on in just a relationship yes, with her. Yes. Okay. But I'm not willing to have a private conversation beyond the minimal stuff she's just given me, contexting this conversation and the conversations I've had with John on how it fits into the big picture and her career path it spiritually has brought us to this table. There are two means of how this developed. Side bound, again, I continually take my hat off to the brother. He has been honest and forthright in his capacity, the product of Maywood, and embracing the history and culture of Maywood, which is capitalized by one of my, my number two hero of all time behind Malcolm X is Fred Hampton. And I was blessed to have been in his mother's house, I have photographs of eating, and I knew that when I saw the pots that the food got cooked in, the Fred ate out of the pots. <laughs> now, I know spiritually what that means to me in terms of being a child of the 60s and understand the revolutionary movement that Fred led. And if I talk to these little knuckleheads on the street today, they can tell you the lineage of the gangster piece, but they can't tell you the lineage of the emancipator who was assassinated by his sister to keep control of our community. All right? And if you go listen to Fred, his stuff is as fresh today as the day it came out of his mouth in terms of the needs that we need to be focused on in the process of, eman of emancipating our community. This is a long-term Project the struggle generationally, and in my stage of the game, I am planting shade trees that I will never sit under for the next generation of young people who are going to come through this process. I again hold up the documentation. This is a book that that categorically shows that they have been trying to take the land back on the mid south side of Chicago since the Great Migration to Chicago. This documents it. It is a new book. We're going to do a, some kind of panel discussion on it. It's going to be in vogue in the discussion on what happens to the Rosenwald building on 47th Street, which was the first middle class housing built for blacks with Robert Taylor, Valerie Jarrett's biological grandfather, who was the leader of that piece. Oscar Brown Jr. managed Addie B. Wells and the other public housing pieces. Earl B. Dickerson fought for open housing in terms of better housing for people in our community. Sidney Williams, who his son is on my board of directors, was a guy who headed up the urban league that said, you cannot take kids, young people from a rural center and bring them into a urban center and stack them up on in high rises and not expect for that, those family structures to be decimated. We have not only witnessed that, but we have also witnessed the systematic displacement of those people pushed into communities further south and the destabilization of those communities by the gang structures that were established in public housing that are dominant in our community today. Exhibited by yesterday's front page of the Sunshine. With a kid with a roll of money in his hand, 13 years old, and an adult standing behind him with a gun pointed at the camera with, yeah. with a 20 mag, 20 mag magazine in the gun. That's what they want you to think is the dominant culture in our community. It is not. But I can tell you on several occasions, the Gospel Fest at 37 in Cottage Grove, two days, 30,000 people. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. South Shore Country Club last weekend, 20,000. Not one incident. All right? We're in Mecca, y'all. We, we need to understand this is the promised land. It ain't going to be no more. If we don't put down our budget and dominate how the commercial business trips are developed, what products, goods, and services are going to be sold in our community, who's going to sell them at home, then the plan will be with the use of federal money by this administration to displace us, and they're already putting that infrastructure, and you can see it in 20 seconds. All right.